Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Spoop. I'm your host, Don, and today, god damn it. And today, we're talking about The Gates, which I watched on Tubi. And the reason we're talking about The Gates is because my co-host, the most adorable co-host in the entire world, Beatrix. Beatrix, say hi to the internet. Say hi, internet. Close enough. She chose this movie randomly because she likes to play with the remote. And so she randomly put this movie on on Tubi, and we watched it. So, because of that... And you'll see her running around in the background, I'm sure. Because of that, I decided, hey, why not do a review and have her in the room while I do it? So, as per usual on Let's Talk Spoop, we break things into six separate categories. Those six separate categories are story, acting, music, atmosphere, look, and finally, creep. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into The Gates story. So the story of the gates is it uh, opens up with the death of a serial killer. And then we move on to the group or a pair of photographers. This is a movie set in, I think, 1890. So we have a pair of photographers who are photographers. So, so back then, uh, it was pretty common for people to photograph themselves with their dead relatives after they died. And so we kind of get introduced to them with this happening. But it turns out that these photographers are also aspiring paranormal investigators. And they have built a machine they believe will make you able to interact with spirits. The Atom Sizer, which is a terrible name. And somebody comments on that. At the same time, <clears throat> the ghost that was the serial killer that was killed in the openings ghost is starting to raise havoc in the jail that he was killed in. He was the first man killed with the electric chair up essentially. That's pretty much it. These people and another person uh, and a priest are all trying to figure out how to stop, stop, how to stop these paranormal happenings. And that's it. Uh, so three out three and a half. It's not the. It's not the most. It's not the. It's not the most. It's not the most original concept. But I thought it was executed really well, and I liked it. So yeah, three point five out of five. Acting so. This movie stars a lot of people, but the two that I noticed or knew the best were, were William Brake and John Reese Davis. So William Brake uh, is a fairly he's got he's got one of them faces, if you know what I'm saying, where like you've seen him in a lot of things. Um He was in The Kingsman, Secret Service, uh, Doom, 31, uh, as Doomhead. He was in Hannibal Rising. Uh, he does a lot of stuff with um, Zo Rob Zombie. Uh, overall, very recognizable face. And he plays the serial killer who is going uh, nuts. And then, of course, or his whose ghost is going nuts. And, of course, we have John Reese davies who everybody knows John Reese davies uh, Gimli, you know, Indiana Jones, really good, well-known actor. So how do they do? Well, I'm not going to say that they gave an all-star performance and the best they've ever done, but they definitely did not phone it in. They definitely did a good job. They were definitely trying and they were committed to the role, as well as all the other actors really in this movie. So three and a half out of five for acting. Music. It's all right. Two and a half. Atmosphere. So I I was invested in this movie, not just because Beatrix put it on, but also because it, it was interesting. It was fun to watch. There are some weird kind of twists that the story takes, and you're just kind of like, what? But overall, 
The atmosphere was engaging enough, so I gave it a 3 out of 5. Look. There's not a lot to talk about for the look in this. It's mostly practical effects. Um, the ghosts look all right. So, two and a half. There's not much, but at least they didn't do anything, like, egregiously bad. So, creepiness factor of this movie. It's moderately creepy. I, I like ghost stories. I like ghost stories, and I like things that make me, you know, scared of what goes bump in the night. And I feel like they did an adequate job with that, and the look wasn't too terrible. Really, this movie's more atmospheric than anything else as far as, like, the scariness factor is concerned. So the 2.5 on Creep, not super scary, but scary enough that I can actually give it a score. So we do that math, and it gets us a 2.9. I really wanted to see if I could find a way to squeeze an extra point into this to give it a 3. Uh, but, you know, I could not. So 2.9. Uh, totally watchable, totally worth checking out. Like I said we're earlier, it's free on Tubi. Um, what did you think? Have you seen The Gates? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you going to go watch it now that you've heard me talk about it and then come talk to me? Because that would be awesome. I would love that. Um, subscribe, like, feed that algorithm. We are trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We are at 47... 80 something like that so we've got three more months three and a half months to get us another 220 subscribers so i need you to tell two friends and then those two friends to tell two friends and those two friends to tell two friends and that'll get us there and then we're going to do some fun stuff um well that's it babe. you got anything you want to say to me you got anything you want to tell the internet no no she says Wow. You don't have anything you want to say to the internet? Well, bye, internet. That's not a wave. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa.